Hello, Mr. Mason. Thank you again for coming. Of course. Anything for law enforcement. Great. Can you please tell us where you were the night of November 12th? Please remind me. What was November 12th? November 12th. Right after the match that you lost. Leaving the arena frustrated, angry, and furious. The kind of guy looking like he'll take out on anybody that gets in his way. Well, that night, while I was rushing to a dinner party I was hosting with a bunch of wealthy friends of mine. Great, we're gonna need a list of all those people. Oh no, honey. You don't get that list, it's very exclusive. Exclusive? Well, hmm. I think we might have a guest here that might be on top of your list. Does this man look familiar to you, Charles? Take your time. This man is bloody, broken, beaten man. No. I can't say I've ever seen this man a day in my life. Hmm, it's funny because in the ambulance truck, he kept screaming some rich guy attacked him. Is that so? Let me ask you a question, Officer James. Do you feel like you're in control? Do you feel that with that badge and that gun, you have some type of control in this world? See me, when I take off this $10,000 suit, I'm still rich. I'm still in control. But when you take off that badge and that gun, you are nothing. You are poor, just like everyone else. Control? Charles, do you think this badge controls me? Do you think this gun controls me? I control myself, Charles. I control putting people like you behind bars. And I'm in control here. So you know what? How about this? There's a show coming up December 11th for House of Glory. If I beat you, you need to tell me everything I need to know. If you beat me, I'll tell you everything. I believe we're done here. I'll see you December 11th. I look forward to it. What was that? No, Scarlet, I need you to trust me. I know I can get information out of him. 